Okay, welcome students. This is a short video on how to adjust the settings on your Kindle Fire to make sure that your ebooks work properly. The first thing we're going to do is check on the App Store. So with your home button pushed, you should come to a, a screen like this, and then you're going to go to the App Store. Now, the app we're looking for is called uh, Flash Player. I've already got it on this, but I'm going to simulate exactly how to look for it. You're going to look for the, uh, you're going to go to the store actually here at the top right, because all this is is just a list of what you already have downloaded. So let's get to the store. At the very top, you'll see a search in App Store bar, and you're just going to type in Flash. F L A S H player and it might actually auto find for you so we've, we're looking at uh, flash player which is right there so you'll know you have the right one if you've got this little logo let me see if I can focus on it a little bit better there we go so I've already got it in there so it's just gonna say open but what you're gonna see is a button that says free you're gonna click it and then it's gonna load and then when it's done it's gonna say would you like to load this? You don't have to worry about that. So you'll, you'll end up coming back to sort of this window when you're done downloading it. So what you're going to do then is just immediately go to the bottom here and just click on this little thing here. And um, we're going to actually uh, I go back to the home button. Yeah. And then you're going to want to restart your Kindle Fire. To do that, just push and hold the button down here at the bottom as I drop it. Let's try this again. So you're going to push and hold it, and it's going to ask you, would you like to shut down your Kindle Fire? It has to say this because it actually has to do a proper restart. You're going to say yes. So once you've shut it down, you push the power button on the bottom again to reload, and then you're going to come back to your home screen here. Now, uh, one of these little icons here should be your browser. Okay, In this case, it's my first one in which I've already signed into class. So you're going to sign in, click on your class, and here we are ready to view our ebook. You're going to scroll down until you see the ebook, which is just in front of uh, week one. And then you're going to click CIS 100. And then uh, I, I held it a bit too long, but if you hold it long enough, it'll give you some options. You can open a new tab or just open. I'll, I like the new tab feature myself. So that'll load. And this is going to basically come up with a setting. Now, this is the next problem we're going to adjust or we're going to address. If you see this message, then you're doing fine. You're going to hit allow. However, if you don't see this message and nothing happens, and all you do is come to this screen with no book, then we need to adjust the browser settings. So we're going to go down here to the bottom. You're going to hit your settings button, and you're going to go to settings. There's two things you have to do here. Uh, okay, setting number one, if you, let's just take a look here. It's going to take me just a minute to locate this, but, uh, Let's scroll down. Oh, pop-up blocker windows. You're looking for this block pop-up windows. You're going to just push it, and you, you can do a few options, your personal preference. You can hit ask, which is what I always have, or you can say always. Never is not an option never, that you never want. Never is what you want. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Block up never. Yeah, never. Pretty, never. My yeah. apologies. Thanks, Patrick. So ask or never. Uh, let's just go for never right now. Then you're going to keep scrolling down or up we're looking for enable flash right there same type of question you want to select always on so when you push it it will just clear then hit your home button again down here and you're gonna go back to your window here you may have to use you know the back button to to get back to uh, this page where you see uh, Jean's picture and then let's try it again so now that we've done all these settings I'm looking for the ebook, which is here. Okay, then this this is likely what you'll see if you've already set up your Course Smart book. Now, you're looking for the Read Now button as demonstrated right here. If you don't see this, it may be prompting you for your name, username, password, things like that. All you have to do is just re enter the same password you use to log into eLearn and then you'll be in business. So once you've done all that, you'll come back here. Let's just click Read Now. And the one thing to remember when using a mobile device like Kindle Fire, um, you're going to have to scroll and ex expand a little bit. You're going to see a message 
try the new Core Smart, Smart app. Now, it, they just launched that very recently. And the next video I make is going to be on the Core Smart app. Now, I'm going to hit cancel, and I'm going to just load the book as I'm used to seeing it, which is in the Core Smart app. So, this is the first page of the book. You'll notice these blue bars on both the left and the right side. That's how you change the page. You click it, and it goes to the next page. Now, the best way to view this, of course, is landscape. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see just how wide it is and uh, kind of get an idea of it. It does give you a nice wide look. You can zoom in, and even from this distance, you can still read the text, which is very nice. So just get familiar. Once you get comfortable with this in your first class, this will be a breeze moving forward. But you'll be able to look at uh, the index over here on the left. And you'll be able to use some highlights and notes. And the best part about this book, in my opinion, is the find feature. You can find keyword specific things uh, while you're trying to do some research and do some homework, and it cuts down the page flipping in half. So, this has been a short video. I hope this has been helpful. Keep in mind that you have tabs up here. This tab is your ebook, this tab here is your actual CIS 100. And then, of course, if you're in the live lecture as well using this device, you'll have yet a third tab where uh, your classes will load. And then you can just scroll and use the button. Any questions, you can reach out to us, tech at acot.edu. Thanks, and have a great day.